Tiny and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am so happy that you are here. And if you are returning to my channel, oh my goodness, thank you so much for making the decision to come hang out with me here at my channel. It means the world to me. So before we hop into today's video, I have to do my question of the day. And I have been racking my brain trying to think of what question do I want to ask. And I think, you know what, today I'm feeling pretty simple. So I think I'm going to go with a simple question. Just how is your day going today? Leave it in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I must personally say I feel like my day is going pretty well. I've just been chillaxing before I go into work. I have a late start today. And it's been pretty awesome because my dog has been snuggling with me. During the day, he is never a snuggler. At night and in the wee hours of the morning, he is a snuggler. But never during the day. So I have thoroughly enjoyed the couch snuggles I've been given today. I'm going to go ahead and clip my here back. Today I just feel like doing a chatty get ready with me. I really haven't thought much about conversation topics. I haven't really thought much about anything because like I said you guys I'm feeling simple today. I'm just feeling low energy. That's why I have my cup of coffee here. I did I did uh, break my rules today and I added some chocolate syrup to it. I just really needed some sweetness in my life but since I haven't been drinking sweet coffee I kind of wish I wouldn't have put chocolate in there. Who am I? I don't know where I got these clips, but they are wonderful. I, I really, really, really enjoy them. It's so handy to have. So currently, my routine has been going in with a clean face and then using Smashbox Primer Oil because I'm trying to use this up. I've had it for a little bit longer than the expiration date says I should. It's like kind of a lot longer. So I'm trying to use it up this winter. I, oh, oh, my dog's mad. My dad was coming down there, so he might be here, or it might be why. Oh. Hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, would you open your garage door if I come and see that? Okay, are you here? Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. You guys will probably hear some movement up above. I do apologize. I live in a very cold state. It's the Midwest winter. I mean, there are places far colder, and I... I feel for you guys. I really do. I can't do winter. I hate winter. I've hated it my entire life and I've lived in the Midwest my entire life. Florida keeps looking better and better. I hate winter so freaking much. It was really honestly not a bad winter at all for the first big portion of winter. Going in with my Peach Perfect foundation and lightening it up with the NYX Total Coverage control something something foundation it works really well for lightning foundation i am so over winter they say if it comes in like a lamb it's gonna leave like a lion and that is the truth because it was not bad at first i was like okay i can handle this if this is what the winters are going to be like here i can handle this and then wham bam winter fully hit we've had so much snow like there are mountains of snow all across our town where they've piled it up i mean like five feet in the air like so much snow We've had bad drifting because the winds have been really bad. It's going to be so cold all weekend. It's supposed to be like, you know, like negative 18 wind chill. Oh my God. I turn into a hermit in the winter. A hermit. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. Like, I feel like I haven't seen my friends in forever because I am so unmotivated when it's so cold on the weekends. Like, I really don't want to do anything. Like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I become a hermit. And then I kind of get down in the dumps. Like, I definitely feel like I have semi-seasonal depression. Now, I don't want it to at all portray it like I have very bad depression because those who struggle with serious depression, my prayers are with you because that is no joke. I've had family members who've dealt with it, friends who have dealt with it. Like, it is so difficult. But I definitely feel like the weather greatly affects my mood because I hate being cold. I am, I'm like 50-50 a homebody and then also a person who loves to go out. Um, so the fact that I feel like I can't go out messes with me and the fact that I don't feel motivated to go places because I hate being cold. I'm the kind of person that it doesn't matter how many layers I have on, 
I'm freezing. Like if it is really, really cold out, I'm cold. I don't care if I have on plenty of layers, like I just hate being cold. We're not sleeping well because our poor dog, it's so cold out, we can't take him for walks. Like he, he won't wear uh, boots and the salt really messes up the skin of his paws. Like we learned that the hard way one year, he had really bad paws. I mean, really bad from the salt. They got so dried out and he was chewing on them and they got infected. So now we do not take him for walks. Plus it is so cold that he doesn't even want to be out there. We have to convince him to go out to go potty. Like, so then he's up so many times during the night because he doesn't want to go outside during the day. So he holds it like you literally, we have to pick him up and force him to go outside. And he, otherwise he will hold it all day. So he'll go to the bathroom like once during the day when we force him to finally go out there because you can't coax him out and then he wants to get up during the night to go to the bathroom or he's just antsy and he wants to play and then he gets you up or he's just antsy so he wants under the blankets, out of the blankets, under the blankets, out of the blankets and I know. My dad's like, well then kick him out of the bedroom. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Plus it would probably be even worse because then he would just be downstairs crying, whining because he wants to be with us. He's extremely attached to us, extremely attached to us. So I don't feel like that would even solve the problem. What will solve the problem is when spring hits. But then at the same time, I'm really, last year I felt like went so fast, like unbelievably fast. Like I feel like I blinked and it was over. I didn't, I don't feel like I got to enjoy the year with moving. Everything was just like rushed and kind of stressful and it went so fast. So this year I'm like, I want to enjoy 2019. I'm going to will time to go slower because it went too fast. So then it's the same time, it's like, well, I don't want to wish for spring because then that's wishing the year away and wishing it to go by faster. So I'm in a predicament here. I'm using this giant Real Techniques body sponge, but the first time I use it, you guys, it tore. I'm so disappointed. But yeah, do any of you live in cold states? Like, I just, I don't, I don't enjoy it. The older I get, the more and more I consider moving somewhere warm. But then the only bad thing is, then we are really, really, really far from family. <laughs> Because Florida is like very, very far away from any of our family. We have family all throughout the Midwest for the most part. There would be no family besides my grandma. My grandma is down there and that would totally be amazing to see her more because I miss her all the time. But I am just like so done with being cold. And I think it's just dragging me down that I know that this weekend is going to be so unbelievably cold again. And like I mentioned in our last video, our friend was supposed to come over. But if it's that cold and the roads are bad, then he probably won't be able to drive up. And it's just like, dang it, another weekend of doing nothing. And I'm just so unmotivated in the winter. So is my husband. So it's like, I wish I could tell you guys that. I'm like, oh, we're taking advantage of being stuck in the house and like organizing all the stuff we need to organize. No. Because the other thing is, most of the stuff we need to organize is in our garage. And as fun as it sounds, being out in the garage, which is maybe 38 degrees... <laughs> Uh, that doesn't sound like fun either. Do you guys like being cold? Do you mind it? My husband's family does not mind being cold. They, his dad would prefer to be cold than hot. I am the opposite. I would rather be hot than cold all day, every day. As long as there's air conditioning, because I'm that kind of person where it's like, okay, I don't mind the heat, but I also don't want to like sit baking in the sun all day. I do need some air conditioning. <laughs> I feel like I mentioned my dad coming over a lot in my videos, so it just kind of, uh, made me want to talk about that. So my dad is retired and my dad is quite a bit older. I think I've mentioned this in videos before, touched on it. My dad was in his late forties when I was born. So my dad is a lot older than most people's parents who are my similar age. Um, actually a lot of my friends have grandparents who are younger than my dad. <laughs> That's just the truth. Um, so he's retired and he has moved everywhere that we have moved, usually waited to see how we like it there and then he's decided to move down. My brother lives in Japan and has for, at this point, probably more of my life. He's probably lived in Japan for more of my life than he's lived here. So my dad obviously is gonna go where we go. My mom passed away when I was younger. I was uh, 11. And so it's always been my dad and I have been super duper close. I think anybody who's gone through losing a parent, especially at a younger age, you're really, really close with the other parent. And for anybody who can't be due to having a toxic family member, I feel so bad for you. I work with someone who told me that her, 
her mom had passed away and her and her dad weren't very close. Actually, two of my coworkers are like that. And it's just like, that's so sad to me. I can't imagine having gone through that and not had an amazing support system like my dad. But yeah, he's retired since he's a little bit on the older side. <laughs> he doesn't really do well with technology. So he has made the decision not to have internet, that it's not worth the cost to him. And plus the stress because if something goes a little haywire, he freaks out, doesn't know what to do, and gets really frustrated, which I don't blame him. I mean, obviously he did not grow up with technology. So he comes over and uses our internet. He loves to watch Netflix and YouTube and use our iPad. <laughs> I have so many people, they're like, oh, why, why didn't your dad just live with you? And I'm like, um, no, thank you. My dad is the same way. Like, he does not want to live with us. He loves us. He loves seeing us on the regular. But he has no desire to live with us. Do any of you guys have your parents living with you? I definitely feel like that's something that's becoming more and more common as the cost of living in so many areas has gone up. And just the fact that people are living longer and the cost of elderly care is crazy. My husband's grandmother is sadly in a nursing home. It's so expensive, I can't imagine. This is like the strangest, uh, she had to get ready for me, but this is just what came to mind. I had a good friend who lived to be, I think, 97, and the entire time her mental state was amazing. She was still so smart and just totally with it, coherent. Her mind was totally fine, it was just her body was failing her. Now that is that is a difficult place to be in. She was able to care for herself until the end. She just lived in a little tiny apartment. She cleaned her own place, her own place. I think she did have to go into assisted living at the very, very end of her life. But I mean, for the most part, she cared for herself until the very, very end. It's like, gosh, I wanna be that old person. That is definitely a goal. Hashtag goals. <laughs> I mentioned this on Instagram uh, yesterday, but I did go to a retirement planning meeting through my workplace. And, you know, I was just thinking that I feel like so many people don't plan for that stage of life. And it's really important to think about it. I mean, we're not even 30 yet. But it's like, dang, I already know that, of course, someday I want to retire. And my husband knows someday he wants to retire. So it's really good to plan for that, you know, the best you can. I mean, obviously, we're all in different stages of life, different levels of income, different debt ratios, different cost of living. But it's like always make room for taking care of yourself whenever possible. And I put saving in that category. Um, we paid off our student loans just over a year ago now, I think. So we're not totally to a place yet where we feel like, you know, where we want to be with savings and retirement and all of that. But we are thinking about it and we are trying our best for right now. And I think that's all you can do is just try your best and make it a priority. Like, take a little time to learn. And, you know, if you if your work doesn't offer something, I feel really lucky that my workplace offered that for free. Like, to sit down with a retirement specialist. I'm like, that's pretty amazing that they offered that. Um... A lot of places don't do that. So, like, there are definitely other ways. You could do research online anymore. With the inter internet, you can teach yourself so much. I also highly recommend Edward Jones. Um, I know a lot of people who go to Edward Jones and have really good things to say. So, and I feel like they're everywhere. I mean, everywhere I've ever been, I've seen an office or two. So, definitely such an important thing is to plan for the future. But also enjoy right now. That's something I've had to learn because I'm a planner. I'm a hardcore planner to the to a fault where I like worry a lot and plan like a lot. I've always been a plan in advance kind of person. I think that comes from losing a parent at a young age. I think it makes you more aware of things than most people have to be at your age. So I've always been like an extreme planner, but to a fault. Sometimes I just need to live and let live and not worry. Don't sweat the small stuff. So there's a good balance to have between, you know, planning and just enjoying life. <laughs> you need to have that nice balance. Well, my, my camera overheated, so I did go in and do my brows and I did some eyeliner and I'm not gonna leave it like this. This is just the base process. Um, this Eyeliner is the Brown Star Looks Pro that we received in Boxy Charm. And I kind of want to do like a smoky wing. That's at least my goal. I don't even remember what we were talking about, honestly. Uh, I do not remember. I do not remember. 
I let it sit for a little bit because I want the wing to stay pretty solid where it's at. I'm pretty happy with that. But I kind of want to blend this part out. And I am going to go over top with some Chateau. You guys, this because I really don't remember where I left off. And if you ever want me to discuss like a life topic in a get ready with me, then leave it in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys and like I feel like I'm at a decent enough age where I've been through enough things that I have a little bit of wisdom. Like I'm nowhere near <laughs> super wise. Um, but you know, I feel I feel like I've had some life experiences. But I just saw a preview earlier today. For that new movie, I think it's called It's So Romantic or It's Romance. It's the one with Rebel Wilson where she wakes up and she's in a romantic comedy. Oh my gosh, I must go see that. It looks hilarious. She is hilarious. I'm busting out an oldie but a goodie here. The Morphe, like Copper Spice or something, something spice. I can't even remember what it's called. It's been so long. I must say this. I used the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil on my eyes and their gel. I'm loving drugstore makeup. Like, I've really started to find major value in drugstore makeup. I never used to be a drugstore girl. Like, I was totally, basically, all Sephora. Like, but I am changing. I am starting to really love Ulta. Now, I will say, I, I always feel this way, and I feel like until Ulta really changes something, I'm going to feel the same way, that I feel like Sephora, when it comes to education of their employees, they're so much more knowledgeable than Ulta employees. I don't feel like Ulta employees usually have the answers I'm looking for, but I love that I can go to Ulta and I can check out some high-end products, but I can totally look at a whole bunch of wonderful drugstore products because I'm, I'm really starting to love the drugstore. I don't even know who I am anymore, but I feel like the drugstore makeup is getting better and better. So good, and the price tag, you just can't beat it. Like. I'm the person where I really like to try different products and new new products and just switch up my makeup styles and you know just have fun and play around with makeup and it's so expensive to do that with high end like it is so pricey and I'm just finding that you know being a small YouTuber I really like having a, an array of products things to switch it up with and just as a consumer, I love trying, especially like foundations. I've talked about this before. I'm really becoming a foundation aholic, and I cannot buy that many high end foundations. Like I just can't switch it up that much because they're so expensive. And then if I'm not using them, I feel guilty because it's like such wasted money just sitting there. So yeah. That, ooh, I do not like that color I just picked. This one is like super powdery. You can't use it to. Buff, ooh, 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 no, that looks, oh god. Oh, I hate when that happens, like you grab for something and it's not what you thought it was gonna be. Ooh, that looks so weird now. Okay. I've been really loving matte eyeshadow again, like really enjoying it. I don't know, I'm just going through this whole metamorphosis of like wanting to try new stuff and liking things that I didn't used to like so much. Like all of a sudden, I'm liking that lipstick and I have ranted so much recently about not liking that lipstick but when I find the right matte formula and I can wear a gloss over top love I'm gonna press some shimmer over top because I really didn't want to do such a smoky matte look today like that wasn't my goal does anyone else feel like the Jaclyn Hill palette though with Morphe the original has like made you not like other eyeshadows like ever like this is like when I first got this I thought this is a nice formula but then when I play with my Jaclyn Hill palette I'm like okay no formula will ever 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 compete with that ever it's so 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 good okay I'm, I'm pretty happy with that I feel like a little bit of shimmer totally just softens eye looks is that just me? Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm still trying out the um, Reezy highlighter. Some days I'm like, ooh, I love it. And other days I'm like, oh, I just don't know. So let's try it again today. I see it on other people and I'm like, oh, this is so beautiful. I feel like on camera it looks more blinding than it does in person. But I want to tell you guys, I sort of broke my no buy. I don't feel like it's totally breaking it if it's something I needed. I have been really, really, really good compared to my normal self when it comes to buying makeup. 
but I did pick up a light shade and a little bit darker shade of these NYX Control Drops because I have so many different foundations and like my winter skin is not my summer skin at all. And so I have these foundations that I keep wanting to reach for, but then I'm like, oh, they're a little bit off right now and like I can only blend down the neck so much to make it match. And so I picked these up and they have been doing a wonderful job of buffing into my current foundations to lighten or darken. So yeah, I'm very happy I picked those up and I feel like it was needed so it wasn't totally breaking my Nova. I highly recommend that if you're just looking for a nice mixer because I know you can buy mi mixers. I almost got the Catrice ones but they were out at my Ulta and I was like, oh, I cannot wait much longer because I'm trying to use up this Peach Perfect foundation because again, I've had it for so long but it's just too tan for me right now. So I was like, that's it. I'm gonna get something else and I looked at like the cover effects drops I looked at the Derma Blend little drops, and they're all so expensive. But I was like, I do not want to spend that much just to lighten or darken my foundation. Then I saw those, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. This might be a total fail, but I feel like it was a total success. And I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has been rooting me on in the comments and congratulating me about hitting a thousand subscribers. I'm seriously so so happy. My next goal is just to hit the watch hours which I'm realizing that may take some time because you guys, I'm like at 3,700 watch hours, which seems like a lot, but it's not 4,000 and I guess that's what you need. And But I will get there. I'm not giving up hope. I'm not even feeling defeated at this point. Really, the 1,000 was what I was really hoping to happen and it happened. So I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really excited. Just thank you to anybody who's been rooting me on. I That's just wonderful. You guys are so nice. I have been kind of subscribers, seriously. I'm like debating on what color I want to put under the eye. I think I'm gonna, I almost picked a dark color, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit lighter just so it doesn't get too dramatic, dramatic. I am going to work. And I really didn't mean to get such a smoky eye. It happens to the best of us, though. You mean to go in with, you know, a little bit of something natural, and then you got a deep, smoky eye. It happens. This little Luxie brush, it looks like nothing special, but it has been my favorite for blending out the lower lash line. It just works so well. And I like how I just have this very, very faint little wing going on. Ever so, ever so faint. I mean, you really have to be paying attention to see it, but it's there. The corner did not get as light as I would have liked, but that's okay. There's my alarm, so I'm not late, uh, late for work. I've discussed that too, you know, I don't like to be late for work. I'm going to throw on some blush, and then I'm basically done. You guys, this was a totally random get ready with me. Uh, I can't even fully remember everything that was talked about from my little uh, camera cool down session. But, yes, if there's anything you ever want me to discuss, please leave it in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys, and, yeah, I would love to share stuff with you. I'm really excited for this 2019 in my channel. I've really sat down, thought of different videos that I want to film, like made lists. Like, I'm trying to be much more organized and much more thorough since I have been experiencing some growth. Like, I really... Like, I was trying already, but I want to try even more and really push myself to do the best job possible. And I just don't like how my nose highlight is looking right now. Japanesque brush. It's just like a great size for so many things, but I've really been using it for setting the under eye, and I'm loving it. I have also seen this, I'm just realizing, like, I've been trying so many new things recently that I never would have before. I've been not really setting my face. I did today more than usual, but, like, the last week, I've only been setting my under eyes, and it's actually working for me. Now, in the summertime, I don't think I could do that. I'm trying to use up this NYX, or this is not NYX. Too Faced Peach Perfect. It is so matte though. It's been very hard for me to use it this winter. It's it, it, this spray. If you need a really good mattifying spray, this one is definitely does it. But my skin is so dry this winter. It has been so brutally cold. My skin is so dry and I've also been using the iconic London spray just on the outside of my face like I did with my Tatcha video. I can link that down below. Um, because I don't want to hit the center of my face since, you know, oily skin. This one, the spritzer though, I'm like not in love with. I really like the product, but 
the spreads will come out so fine and then you just feel like a massive clump of spray come out like this. Ooh. You get scared to look in the mirror. It's like, oh, is it all messed up? Everything I just worked for. So that's how I've been doing my base for the most part. Um, that's kind of my day to day. The eyeshadow look changes every single day. I don't have a go to um, eyeshadow look at all. It's different every day. The one thing I have been doing consistently is putting bronzer in my crease. That's like a kind of a daily habit for me. I wish I was a little more consistent at times, like, and I had a go to look, so then I could do a video like my go to look. But if I did that like in the last solid year I haven't had a go-to look like I do something different every single day and actually I was talking with my friend Christina who does videos here and that's one one reason I don't think I can do project pan I've thought about it so many times because there are products I'd really like to focus on using but the idea of doing project pan and being so uh, meticulous honestly gives me anxiety like I think I would be an anxious freak doing that I love watching the videos and I think it's a great way to motivate you to use up makeup but I feel like I would just be so stressed and overwhelmed with and overly focused on oh my gosh I have to use this because I just feel like that's who I am. I would just be a mess and I would feel so um, stuck in having to use those products because I honestly when it comes to like products I switch it up almost daily if I felt like I had to use certain products I think I would feel really overwhelmed I'm also the kind of person where if I get really overwhelmed I shut down like some people you know can be like oh I'm gonna just conquer and you know I'm gonna take this all by storm I'm just gonna go for it and overcome and I feel like I have that aspect to my life in some ways but in other ways if I feel overwhelmed I just shut down just, I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not going to do it at all. Uh, like, and then I feel like I would just not want to do my makeup. I've considered it so many times, you guys, because I love Project Pan videos. And like I said, there are products I want to use. But the more I really thought about who I am, my personality, I was like, I don't think I could do it and be successful or enjoy it. And to me, my makeup collection is all about joy. Like, that's, this is my joyful time every day. <laughs> um... But yeah, if you guys want to see a video of like products I am trying to use up and I could just like talk about the products I'm trying to use up where I'm at with them instead of like a true project pan, let me know because I would definitely be willing to do that. Like that sounds fun to me. I'm also trying to really focus on using up older lipsticks because after my no buys over, I intend to stock up on some new lip products because some of mine are pretty darn old. This lip look is so light. That's not going to work for me. <laughs> Some people look so good with the ultra light nude. And maybe more in the springtime I could do it a little bit more. But right now I'm like, oh, that just looks out of place. Again, going in with the fingers. Not something I normally would have done. But new year, new me. Living life on the edge, you know. <laughs> in my own mind, this is living life on the edge. Really getting crazy over here. Over time. Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, Fenty Gloss Bomb. My favorite. Has anyone tried the pink one? The light pink? Oh, I want to try it so badly. This really is the most beautiful gloss formula. Everything is so good. Fenty, like, knocked it out of the park with this one. Okay, so this is my look for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the super random, super chatty get ready with me. It's probably going to be like 85 million years long, but you know, that's okay. I need to work on my watch hours anyways. Seriously though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I totally still am going to do my shout out, even though this isn't my normal video. Today's shout out is Taylor Elizabeth. She said, congrats on 1,000 1, subscribers. That's huge. Yes, girl, so happy that you made this video. I've been looking for a good blowout situation, and this might be it. It makes your hair look amazing. She was commenting on my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer review. And oh my gosh, Taylor, thank you so much for the comment, and thank you for rooting and cheering me on because I'm seriously so thankful to have hit 1,000 subscribers. And I'm so glad that you're a subscriber. So thank you for commenting, and I'm so glad that you are here. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love, love, love for you to be a part of the Lash Family. Really, 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 I would. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. More uh, active on Instagram, though, just so you know. And yeah, you guys, as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.